Good morning and welcome to day five on the Colorado Trail. We just left our Airbnb, got a little bit later start. I had some issues with the upload. I told you that last night, Robert actually, being the genius that he is, fixed that problem. So got everything uploaded, should be good to go. Obviously, if you're watching this, it's working. Okay, so we're headed up to this little, uh, I don't remember what road it was called, but anyway, we got to try to hitchhike about eight miles. So that is the game plan for this morning. And then we got climb, climb, climb. So, you ready, Robert? Yep. Woo, glad you are. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great morning, and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we are on trail. We got a hitch pretty quick. We stuck our thumbs out for one and they kept on going and pretty soon a pickup came and put her thumbs out and guy picked us up and brought us to the trail. So that went uh, about as well as it could have. So happy about that. Starting the big climb. Uh, one of the gentlemen that we've been hiking with the last few days, he just came down off the trail that we came down off of yesterday. And he's uh, he's going to leave the trail, it sounds like. It's just too much for him. Altitude's getting getting to him. And again, it happens. And it could happen to any of us. So certainly no shame in it. All you can do is what you can do. So we're going to press on. And we're, we're only doing in between five and ten miles today and then we're gonna just camp and relax and go from there all right have a great morning see ya okay we're just climbing this hill we stop for a minute and we sit down on this log and some poor fella <laughs> some fella lost his underwear Nice pair, <laughs> nice pair of Calvin Klein's there. So, not sure what the circumstances were, but like Robert said, they might probably wasn't good. Either too heavy or they, uh, yeah, you can figure it out. We got such a good laugh out of that. I wanted to make it more visible for all the hikers coming along here. So, I'll put them bad boys on a stick. Just hung them up along the trail. Hey, the trail provides. Someone, someone might need a pair of underwear. Okay, well, looks like we are entering the Lost Creek Wilderness. Pikes National Forest. Oh, sorry. Just been walking up this kind of jeep road for a mile and a half or so. Oh, there's a, I wonder if that's a registry to sign. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a permit. We got to do a self permit here. filled out okay well once we looked a little closer in the box they there are no more permits so we can't get a permit but we're just gonna push on through I took a picture of the basically box with filled out permits and no no blank ones so I suspect that'll suffice it's not you know it's not our fault there's not permits so we did what we could do and we're gonna keep on stepping I guess Guess what I'm fixing to eat? Lenny and Larry's peanut butter chocolate chip. While we got on this, while we're walking on this little flat area here, oh, you like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, trickery. So it's Saturday. If you guys haven't 
rushed out and got your Lenny and Larry cookies by now. I'm very disappointed. <clears throat> that was pretty good. It's always better after you've been burning thousands and thousands of calories. <sighs> yep. Beautiful morning. Quiet. Passed a few hikers. Uh, one day hiker, then another one that looked like he was going um, northbound, possibly. So, um, trying to think. I don't know. It's just uh, been a productive morning. Got out of town. So, y'all have a great day. And we'll see you a little bit later. Down. Ugh, dropped my cookie. <sighs> okay. Look at this nice stand of American Aspens we just walked into. Beautiful. Populus tremuloides, I think, is the genus species. Man, they're some of my favorite trees. I love them. Look at this. Virtually no aspens on this side of the road, the trail, whatever. And then you come over here and it's pretty much, it's predominantly aspens. How does that happen? I mean, really? Pine Creek Trail or the Colorado? Let's go this way. Is it lunchtime yet? Whew, getting hungry. All right, we made it down to this little stream and we are going to have lunch and then we're gonna press on about at least 2.2 miles and then drop down the backside of that pass. But man, isn't this beautiful? Okay, it's lunchtime. No surprise. Tuna and tortilla and maybe snack on this little beef jerky I got here. Smoke flavor and Robert, you're having what? Oh, uh, peanut butter and tortilla. Yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. Nice little spot for lunch. So we'll stay here about 40 minutes and press on. And all we did was stop for lunch. Pack exploded. Packing pods everywhere, tortillas here and there. <laughs> Y'all like my new sleep pad I got? It's a big bad boy. But we picked up an extra one and uh, Coleman is uh, borrowing my other one. I may cut, I may cut half of it off when we get to Frisco, I haven't decided, but anyway, got my Garmin hanging off there. Some nice fresh water. Got my hat hanging off the back. My camp towel. Trekking pole stuck in the ground. And we're getting ready to head up the mountain. <clears throat> okay. That's how I start all the videos, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. So, <laughs> we just left the, we just left the creek, which is at 9,300 feet, and we're climbing to 10,600 something. And as soon as we get on the top of that, that's 2.2 miles. Uh, that's the gaining that we have. So, once we get to the top, we'll head on down and start looking for a camp spot for the night. 
I'm eating beef jerky, but it's hard to breathe going uphill. <clears throat> We sat down to take a break. <clears throat> Beef jerky. And then I checked the our altitude off of my Garmin. We're at 9,992 feet. We could have gone eight more feet and rested at 10,000 feet. I'm going to blame that on Robert. <laughs> so anyway, we're just sitting here getting ready to knock out this last 1.3 2 I don't know it is what it is so we'll see you at the top well we made it over 10,000 feet uh, we're about 10,100 and this climb it's whooping my tail. <sighs> Y'all feel that burn? Ooh, yeah. I do. It's enough to go around, trust me. Oh. <laughs> All you can really do is just smile and enjoy it. Oh. It's a lot of work, but just gets in your blood gets in my blood anyway okay I'm out of things to say anyway <laughs> see you at the top might have a bag of trail mix when we get up there too so y'all get a glass of water and a snack and I'll see you in a minute We finally made it up here to the top of the pass or the mountain. Uh, took us three hours to go 2.2 miles because it was a, a pretty mm, sporty climb. <laughs> yeah, let's say it was sporty. Anyway, we're, we're just topping off our water and then I think there's a campsite a half a mile down the trail. We met a, a lady just a minute ago who was coming up the other direction. And she, she was also asking us where the nearest campsite was, so I think she's pretty beat, too. We all got water. She went that way, and we're headed this way. Okay, I'll see you when we get to camp. So here's the little stream at the top of the mountain we've been climbing for. They've made a little, kind of little channel for it. And it's just coming down out of the mountain there. Now that lady said she has seen four moose since she started hiking yesterday. So hopefully tomorrow morning, if we get down in that meadow, we'll see some moose. It'd be pretty cool. All right, here's our camp for the night. Coleman's working on getting his hair pad mattress blowing up. Hopefully the patches that we put in place will work tonight. And then I'm over here. Felt a little bit of sprinkle, so it might be in for a little rain tonight. I'm set up there, but man, this is just a beautiful little spot. Y'all hear that? It started to rain on us. We got our tents uh, pitched just in time and we kind of dove in them i don't think it's gonna rain a lot but anyway for now we're just gonna sit in here and if it stops raining we'll eat a little dinner okay uh, i'm in my tent dove in here to get out of the rain and decided to cook a little something so i already boiled my water got that going that's that's done i'm just drying that drying that out but i'm having this wild zora quinoa bowl 
organic quinoa, tomatoes, spinach, and green olives. And it has a little packet of olive oil you can dump in there for a little extra calories. So let that soak for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna eat that up. It'll be good. I'm just here sprawled out. It's sprawled, I got junk everywhere. <laughs> Okay, well, we're both in our tent because it is still raining, um, and it's starting to get dark out. Doesn't really look like it in here, but <clears throat> anyway, today was a good day. It was a tough climb out of Bailey. Man, it was just, uh, it was just tough. <laughs> so glad to be in the tent, uh, just getting cleaned up a little bit. Ate my dinner, and I'm going to edit some video, try to get some sleep. Got to decide what time we're going to uh, tear out of here in the morning, so... Uh, tomorrow's gonna we're gonna shoot for we did eight miles today tomorrow we're gonna shoot for about 10 miles or 10 to 12 something like that so another great day on the colorado trail hope you're all doing well and we'll see you tomorrow morning on the trail <laughs> good night getting with it out there isn't it <laughs> but I'm nice and cozy